Hey guys, Doug here again with another in our 1x1 series. And in fact, this will be the last consecutive 1x1 series. The 1x1 series is going nowhere, but I'm going to give time in between and switch up the videos going forward to give you time to uh, catch up and uh, work through other projects. Because I know it's a, it's a little bit much to give you a new project every single week. So anyway, without further ado, today we're making fun little scarecrows. You may remember doing something similar years ago, but uh, this is different and uh, in our one by one series and I had so much fun with these little guys, especially with the painting. Now you'll see this, uh, this guy has a pumpkin head. Don't get uh, misled, we're not gonna do the pumpkin head because there's lots of pumpkins coming, but it's an easy, it's a fun option for the scarecrow. So just keep that in mind. Now, uh, I tried to set up outside today. I really wanted to do an outside video and uh, I just got eaten alive. Early morning mosquitoes are still bad and this is the first of September so we'll get outside again. Don't you worry. We'll get some coffee going. But before we carve our little scarecrow today, we got to thank our sponsor. You know it. Wood Carving Illustrated. Can't can't brag on them enough. Love this magazine. Like I said, it's the only uh, sponsorship that uh, I thought was worth worthy of uh, being on the videos and sponsoring the videos. Great magazine, full of tips, tricks, plans, you name it. I like to flip through just for inspiration here and there, and uh, it just gets you back in the in the carving mode, you know. But uh, they've given me a little promo code. The link will be in the description. But they give me a promo code Linker, all caps, L I N K E R, and with that, using the uh, link in the description, with your subscription, they'll give you some little extras, some little plans and whatnot. So check them out, very worthwhile. And without further ado, let's carve a little scarecrow. Okay, we got our block of wood here. Today's block of wood is one by one, and this is three and a half inches tall. Now, if you only got a three inch piece, I started out with the three inch, all right? These are all three inch guys. But the difference was I wanted a little bit more hat, as you can see on this guy, all right? So if you want to, if you only got a three inch piece, you can make it work. Just deduct an extra half inch for the hat, but we'll get there. Okay. So as we do, mark our centers all around our piece of wood. That tends to keep us honest and in line, right? Then we're going to come down with our ruler from the top. Now we're going to come down one inch and one and three quarters. Okay. And now that is basically, not basically, that is our face. All right, same thing here. I'll just roughly go around. Okay, that's our, our rough face. And then from the bottom, we wanna mark the bottom of our straw hands, okay? So the bottom of our straw hands, we're gonna come up just a five eighths, all right? So half inch plus an eighth, all right? Do that on both sides. And then we're gonna come back with a half inch for the bottom straw after, but let's just get this all blocked in. Got your carbon glove on, like me. My, mine's invisible, but you should have yours on. And uh, freshly strop knife. This is a big honking knife, just to show you that you can do big carvings with, or little carvings with big knives, right? So this is like a two and a quarter inch rough out helvy. And uh, I'm just going to start here with V cuts. And we're just going to block out that head. All right. The V cuts all around on the corners. And then we're just going to join them up. All right. Just join our corners with a big V cut over that center line there. One more. Okay, that's our head blocked in. Now let's jump down to those bottom of our hands there. And we're just gonna come straight across the whole thing for now. We're gonna dig in that bottom of our straw hands. All right, and again, that's a that's a healthy eighth of an inch there. All right. Okay. 
I like saying a healthy, a healthy eighth of an inch. Otherwise, people get too caught up with uh, measuring eighth of an inch or whatever. But that's all we're doing. All right. Okay. Now let's go up to our hat here. Where are we? Where's my pencil here. What I should do here is get a little bit of a back angle on that hat. So this is the front. Let's mark the front. Okay, that's our front. Let's take that, come around the back, just drop it a, a whisker. Okay, just to give us a little bit of an angle on that hat, right? I'll block that in too. Come a little bit more straight in this time. And underneath. And then the same thing, we're just going to join up our lines right across. Come up. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, let's take some corners off because these corners are sharp and they're going to come off sooner or later so let's just knock all the corners off this is rough don't worry about it's splintering we're just trying to get the sharp edges off so we don't squeeze them into our hand all right okay now let's uh shape that head just a little bit okay you can take the corners off come up come down come up we got a little bit of a face shape there going Same to the top. Okay. Look around that a little bit. You can see here, we should decide which way we're going to go. See, I did one as a pumpkin, but I'm not going to do this as a pumpkin because we got pumpkins coming. But I got a silly looking pumpkin guy here <laughs> with a little broomstick nose. Not a carrot, but a broomstick, but we're going to do more of the bag look, all right? So I want to uh, carry out the bag look. But a pumpkin is very, very doable. It looks fun too. But like I said, we'll be doing lots of pumpkins in the future, so let's just uh, stick with Scarecrow, all right? Scarecrow as it is. The old potato bag or whatever it is. Okay, before we get too carried away with the face here, let me get out my pencil. I'm going to mark just below the hands there. Oh, a half inch again. Half inch, or, you know, don't get carried away with the measurements, just below the hands. Okay? All we're going to do is we're going to come straight in with that. And what we're doing here show you is this we're just getting that little uh, straw straw feet really I keep saying hey straw is not hay straw is from the leftover wheat and hay is grown alfalfa or whatever you got but a little pet peeve now we're just going to join that across, and we're going to come up. All right. This weekend we were in a campground, and it was a, they do a little Halloween uh, end of the year. This is a Labor Day for uh, Canadians, and uh, they do Halloween at the end of the year at the, at the camp. So it's like a, whereas they would do Christmas in July, they do Halloween the 1st of September just for the campers, right? And uh, they had scarecrows nailed on every tree and every post and sign around. And I didn't have my camera. I would have made a real silly run around intro taking pictures with them all. But it was not to be. But you see what I just did there? I just narrowed that down. And that's going to end up being our, uh, our little hay. Hay. <laughs> straw. Straw bottom. Okay. Now, 
carrying on with the theme if this is our front here there's our center line on our arms let's mark our arms right down like so just a healthy eighth we have a good half inch arm left okay don't go too skinny you can always you can always go smaller but you can't uh, you can't go bigger and then let's just draw a line across and we're going to go like that all right so we're going to draw a little cuff of our shirt and then just a little angle like that okay so that's what that is cuff and then each way we're just going to dig in now come in in come across stick that point right in there keep your fingers out of the way sticking that in there other side you come down down stick that point right in there this is gonna look rough before it gets better but we're basically just going to uh, break off that little section there like I said, it's going to look rough. We're going to, we know how to clean it up. All right. Like that. Same thing here. It's going to break, so make sure your fingers are not in harm's way. Or just do little baby cuts. So you get it okay. Same in here. Let's just get them all out of here. because we want that to come right down a little angle on this side on there. We're going to bring the straw into the cuff. All right. All right, that's a start. Pencil marks out there. Okay, that's our, our rough, rough arms. But now, nobody's arms go straight up like that. Now we just go across like that. Get that right off. Like that. Like that. We shorten those arms. Get this back. Make sure you draw a face on the front because even there I almost started cutting into it. <laughs> you gotta remember where we are. Remember where you are. Okay. All right. Okay. So on our back side here, let's just come up a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little, a little butt line there, a little butt. Okay, and we'll look at the, come across. 
across. And now we're going to kind of work together with our straw here. We're going to kind of just dig up underneath there. I'm kind of getting undercutting that straw a little bit. Come on. There, like so. down. Corners off of there. Knock all those corners off of there. Okay. Let me come around the sides of this cup here. I'm going to bring that into the so that the straw comes out of the shirt. All right. So little little cuts on each side. Just tuck it into the shirt. Right. A dirty spot there. I like to kind of keep my carving as clean as I can as I'm going, so that it doesn't take me forever to, to finish up after. All right. Right here. Get that in. And in. There we go. There I go. Making progress. Right. Now, jumping back up top here, let's get that hat kind of started at least, okay? So I'm just going to put my knife in here just above that brim, but uh, again, healthy eighth of an inch. I'm just going to start working it, working it in, all right? This is a very rough, rough stage, but. I don't like finishing the actual brim of the hat till much later in the carving because you always have a chance to break it. So that's why we don't like to make it too thin either. Because I don't know if you're like me, but I break everything. I'm just getting some, getting some shape to that hat. Right. Now, if that is on an angle like that, and the top needs to be in the same angle too. So let's just take that back corner off of there. Okay. Well, I'll just start coming in straight after we got our bulk removed. Leave that alone for a little bit. Just keep jumping around. So on our face there, what we've got is uh, we need to separate the hair from the head before we can get a perfect face rounding. So we need to make that cut, right? down each side. All I'm going to do, and again, I can, I can watch my center line here. So I'm just going to go a quarter inch ahead of that center line. And I'm just going to come down basically to the center line. All right.
Let's take some. Let me take my knife. Cut it down. Let me come down. Give myself a little relief here. Come up. Come across. But right here, I'm going to do a big V cut. That one there. One there. Pop that out. Like that. Now we've separated the straw from the uh, base. All right. So that out. And our big V cut. Now we've got our actual face. Right. So we can we can round that up best we can. And remember, this is just a bag filled with straw. So we just have to make it somewhat round. You can see I'm using my my thumb is the motor of my knife. But I'm never, never pushing it so far that I don't have control. I was pulling it, now I'm pushing it. Now we got a big block of uh, straw on our head here, so we can start angling that in. And with that straw just swooping out. And a little bit on the front too. Okay, we're getting there. Put just a little little shadow up in here. That. Anywhere that we can get a little a little chip cut gives a little bit more shadow is good. Get those clean. Alright, now we can see already I always preach about the hat, <coughs> the head being in the hat and not the hat sitting on right on top of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with that brim of our hat. I'm going to just kind of roll it down. See how we went from way on top? To down, bring the hat down.
Well, we've pretty much got our whole fella here blocked in pretty good. So maybe we'll just stick with the, the hat for a minute. I finish her off. Uh, how it comes down. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little mushroom top on on the hat, just a little bit. Even if it was just on the side, that'd be enough. edges off the top right. and we can even give it a little, little belly given the top of the hat it's a little little belly so. right. there we go and of course we gotta have a band so let's just take a band around here Little hat band. Let's cut one in. Okay, that's a funny looking hat. Give it a little crease on the side. There. Alright, let's move on. Oh, actually, let's give it a little crease on this side. We can play with that forever, but anyway. Let's uh, carry on here. Now, you can see I've done a couple different things here. I gave a, uh, a bandana to this guy right here, which I actually I really like that. But I also did the, uh, the bottom of the bag tie, right? You can see that in the light. So I think we better stick with the, uh, the bottom of the bag tie, right? So all we're going to do is we'll come around here for now and just undercut, not undercut, but cut up to that. And let's give it a bag here. bib for a bag and then we need our rope all right so come up so you gotta have that bag tied off I'm just gonna come around careful guys don't get excited So there's our there's our rough rope. And now we gotta round our head again. 
guess we took some out. Okay, so we got our little, uh, our little rope tie. So what happens now is when we tie up a rope like that, and when we cinch it up, we're going to have some little, uh, some little creases, some little folds. Right. Let's do this little, little V cuts under there. See how it kind of pulls it. Not too many, but enough to know that they're there. Right. One more on the top. All right, then, of course, we got the same thing below. Camera shut off, so we're back. Same thing below. Just give them some little, little V cuts. Now you can, you can get carried away with them, but uh, we're not gonna right now. So we go a little bit of a jagged. Take it bottom. Shadow underneath there. We won't get too carried away with that. You get the idea. All right. So there we go. Always going back to that face, looking at that face, making sure I'm happy. I said it's just a bag full of straw, but. I do want it to be nice and round. I do, I do. All right. Now, we've got a big, big healthy chest here. We don't need that at all. And we need pants, because we got a butt here already, right? Let's finish that little tail there. Right in the center. A little stop cut here. Let's separate those legs all over here. All right. And then we can just put a little, a little cut each way, a little tiny little V cut. All right. Same on the bottom. Come up. I can see the straw kind of comes up into the pants, which is good. That's pretty square. I'll give him a little bit of a butt shape by this little swoopy, swoopy, swoopy. All right. Okay, now we gotta figure this out here. So let's go a little V cut here. Show some some pants. Okay. Not 
knock off this big belly right angle. Excuse me. All right. So we've got our basically we got our legs. All right. We gotta dress this guy up here. Let's come down here first. Same as the back, kind of working right into those straw hands. I said, come on, get out of there. Let's dress this fella up. Let's give him a uh, little jacket of sorts. We'll leave the center open. All right. Come across the back. A little, kind of like a suit jacket. All right. So he's gonna come in with a butt. Come up. A little stop cut. Shape that butt a little bit. There. Flatten out. Okay. I, I like that. Okay, from the front. Let's so stick my knife in. Let's just swing it around. So, same thing here. Knife in, swing it around. All right. Okay, get underneath that bag. There, now we can undercut that bag a little bit more and get more shadow. Like so. Get up underneath there. Yeah. And then again here, we're going to, uh, let's take that little whisker out of there again. Creating a little, little shadow under that jacket, alright? Shadows are your friend. We can just kind of undercut that a little bit. Alright. Now our buddy here has got to have a, a shirt and that shirt then separates our, our upper from our lower. Alright. So let's give a droopy shirt. We don't ever want like everything straight all the time. This is it's sloppy. He's sloppy. His clothes are just tied on, so we don't want him to uh, be all straight and boring.
All right, so we got a shirt. I'm gonna split those legs. No biggie here because like I said, the pants are not really symmetrical. They're just tied on, not symmetrical, but normal like that. Uh, you'd have to have like a knee or whatever. They're just hanging there. All right. So we're gonna separate them nice and wide and get that straw coming up. All right, little stop cut on top. Once that comes in, a little tiny bee cut each way. Get that little chip out of there. Come on, little chip. Okay. Get some wrinkles. Little pants. Like so. Then we do the same thing in the back. We need some wrinkles. Baggy old pants. In the back here. Our arms are hanging just so straight and perfect, so let's put some little swoops in there. Hair over here. All right. Come on. All right. Same thing here. A little swoop here, swoop there. A little. Yeah. We gotta rough him up a little bit. He's still. Uh, Nobody puts their good clothes on the scarecrow. The scarecrow is the old hand-me-downs I've been through. All the brothers and all the cousins. <laughs> all right. That's why I painted these so freaky. <laughs> I went nuts. The polka dot green pants. Leftovers from the, the 70s. You think I'm talking from experience, from all these leftovers and from the cousins and the brothers, and maybe I am. But, okay. Well, that's basically our clothing. Time to get into the, the straw, all right? I think what I'll do is I'll do one side with the straw and then I'll finish it up because that's a little more tedious. I just broke my pants. I just broke my pants. I gotta fix them. I gotta fix my pants. Pants fixed. Good enough. As I was saying, I want to, uh, let's do one side here just to give you the idea of what I'm doing and then uh, I'll stop the camera and we'll come back. But straw, straw is loose, straw is roughed, it's never perfectly even. So we just need to. Uh, Basically, we're going to rough out first, and then we're going to do like the, the V cut. So, you see here, just stopping the straw and come down here, cut into that. All right. Hands, same thing. Just gonna come into it. Put a little 
jog in there. Again, we're just roughing this out because we're going to come back and put our, our v, v cuts in. Same thing in the bottom then. Just put big cuts in there like that. Put a cut like that. We'll come into it just to keep it all broken up. There's no corners. Right. Even in the bottom, it's all flat. Come up. That. Now, if you have a V tool, if you don't, we can just do a uh, use our knife, right? Take out all these little slivers. Like so, and work your way through the whole carving doing that, or just grab yourself a a little V tool. Start working your way in. I say little V tool, whatever V tool you got. All right. Now there is a way. I can't think of the fellow's name who does it, but there's a way that you can uh, have very realistic straw with a V tool, just by leaving all your all your little uh, curls and. Uh, putting glue to them, like a super glue, and they will uh, harden up and stay fairly strong. But again, as you know, I will break them. So I'm not even going to attempt it. But So just work my V-tool up one way, turn around, go down, try and get some little V's straight in. Just break up all that solidness, right? Okay, your hands, same thing, will start going down. Turn around, we'll, we'll go up. Take your knife, clean out all those little cuts. And in the bottom, same thing. So you go up, 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 up. And th this can be done with any size V tool, it doesn't matter. I just have a little medium one here. We're going to have to do a, another tool video at some point. I could just as easily be using a full size V tool. But yeah, you see how there it's all uh, more staggered and broken up. Still got a little guy. Oh, those little guys. Come on, little guy. But I'm going to uh, do the other side on my own just so you don't have to watch it. And uh, clean her up and we'll come back. Okay, just doing some clean up here. I like to undercut some of that straw there. It. Uh, Good way to get rid of all those little fuzzies. And drop the hat down just a hair more. Taking that sharp edge off there too. All right. But that's where we're at. He's a good looking little scarecrow. And like I said, I like the uh, the funky colors. It almost, cl I guess it's more clown like, right? So, but anyway, what? Uh, what else can we do here? A little patch. All these guys should have a little patch somewhere. And the arms. Let's bring the arms. Let's get a little a little shadow in those arms there. A little deeper cut there. Yeah. Just pops that. A little more shadow. There we go. Let's do it in the back too. We'll add a 
pull out a patch. And I think we're, well, maybe a nose. A nose and a patch. Okay. So what's a patch? A patch is just a little square. That way. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be square. We'll make this one oblong. Right. The corners off. A little, little highlight there. And then you just get a painter up a different, uh, different color. You get yourself a little, little patch. I like patches. Patches are fun. Alright. And then the nose. You don't have to uh here, let's let's just do it. Okay. So we've got uh we got a little little triangle nose here. Alright. Little X's for eyes. Did some stitching down the center of this guy and just regular eyes with a triangle. And I got a carrot, and yes, this is a carrot now that it's in a bag, but I didn't want a carrot on the pumpkin, so we're going to call that a broomstick, <laughs> even though it's a little bit orange looking. But, uh, yeah, let's take a, a black marker and just draw some stitching, right? Pretty simple. We'll draw, I like the, I do like the dot eyes, just with paint. But uh, we can draw some triangles. Okay, steady hands, steady hands for this. Just do a uh, triangle for nose or eyes, like so. We'll give him a little smile. Mm. Whatever you want to do, you can cut in a toothy smile. But if you have a wood burner, like the wood burner, I did some of these with a wood burner, it works really well. But then we'll just put a little. Uh, Let's do it. Let's just do it. I'll take my little ice pick here. Put a little nose on. Right. Pre-drill. Oh boy. Hit the camera again. Okay. Find yourself a dowel. Alright. Thinning this dowel out a little bit because it's a wrong size hole. All right. Stick it in there. Set on something hard. Cut it off. And just shape it to uh, shape it to a carrot. All right. But lots of ideas. You know, Pinterest is your friend. Look up Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow faces, and you can have all kinds of ideas, right? But, yeah. Let's put some water. And again, water just highlights all the shadows and the cuts and, and whatnot. But there is our little scarecrow with the running makeup already. But, there you go. All right, there is our little scarecrow with his newly uh, drawn on face carved right off because it was horrible. And uh, yeah, a couple of little tips and tricks for the painting process. Either paint the face or carve the face, do whatever you want, and uh, paint the whole thing. But what I like to do is uh, seal the carving either with an acrylic brush on or, or some kind of a spray. But uh, to get the straw to look like the straw, 
just get some uh, after it's sealed go over it with like a, a, a brown wash or a black wash or whatever you like and then just paint it on and wipe it off since it's sealed and then that paint will stay in those little straw cracks and make it look more uh, separated more uh, more straw like so anyway without further ado we'll call in a video and uh, we'll catch you next time and uh, big thanks again Wood Carving Illustrated check out link in the description and uh, yeah I will be back with something and I'm not quite sure what it is but I got lots of one by one ideas I just don't want to push them all on you all at once so we're going to take a little break next video and do something different but we'll be right back again with one by one in the future and uh, until then happy carving